All right, we're live now. You can speak. Uh, okay. We've got. I gotta turn you up. Your mic's like really quiet. All right, you may speak at the truth. Uh, okay, is the mic better now? We're live now. And I'm just right now fiddling with stuff. I am professional streamer. All right, Sharna's turn, and it looks like I can't get behind this guy because he's got a body for it. This cracker is behind my monitor. Hello. Is there a third person here, or are there just two of you in the same room? What? A minute. I've got Mog Lance on my side. I can do this. Anything is possible with Mog Lance. I have way too many windows up right now. <laughs> is your computer just freezing? Uh, no, it just takes, I have to go through, like, 20 different things to find what I'm trying to find. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm looking relatively lag. Oh, no, there was lag, there was lag. Oh, God, the lag. Save me from the lag. Let me get rid of this volume window. We are lagging so hard. Oh, now we're back. Still a frame short, but it looks like we're back because it should be at like 23.9. Eight. Don't don't touch my. You better. Ah! Oh, he just killed my bishop. Ah! Oh no! He's going to help that. <laughs> Did you just say he was going to hell for that? <laughs> oh, the soldier's yeah. going to hell for that. Yeah. This is a bit of a shot I'm trying to make. Ooh! Right in a vital area. 70... I crit him. I wonder I wonder if uh, Como's gonna get here. If he does, I would love to talk more about that thing I want to do. The thing you don't care about. <laughs> or you don't care about me talking to you about. Oh yeah, that's that uh, thingy. Yeah. I was hoping Como would get here because I was working on it with him. For those watching the stream at a later date, I will say that what we are talking about is a group run text based roleplay group. Oh. Uh, we're doing Pathfinder. <laughs> I'm just putting it right here right now. We're doing Pathfinder! Via text. Via text. Therefore, it's still text-based. I invited a bot into Discord specifically for it. You've seen RP bot, right? I, could, can you see him? RP bot's gonna be handling the dice rolls. I set the prefix, the question mark, when I'm open to suggestions. I don't need to know. I could use forward slash, just like on the other site. Wow! That was the best casting of arrow I have ever seen. How did you miss three targets? One of them was bound to get hit. He left his good world ring in his other pants. <laughs> he left his what in his other pants? His good world ring. <laughs> Girl, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, my tongue is actually too big for my mouth, so things like whirlwind are hard to say. <laughs> that is good whirlwind in his other pants. 
<laughs> that actually sounds erotic. Um, okay. Um, oh, it doesn't give you the term that. whirlwind like that. All right. Sure, now you'll be seeing Realia in hell. Oh, he lived. Dang it. No! Check off! You missed. Good thing the first one of the first things I had Monty learn was Moglance. And I'm not killing him. Anyone who kills Montblanc is a jerk and should be min-maxing other games. Actually, you shouldn't min-max at all because it makes it because it means you're a loser with no life, but Let me see. Uh, what was that? Uh, people like pe people who are min maxing like to kill Montblanc because he's got a very weak magic stat and he starts as a black mage. No, 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 no. Linny, you're supposed to lean. You're supposed to lean. Do you not know how to shoot from behind cover? Um. Can't they just like switch his class to something that's better for his stats so rather than kill him? Yeah, but then you need to meet prereqs for it. And prereqs take time and affect stats, because this is an A2. Where you can learn abilities without fi without fighting. As long as you have the weapon equipped and you and you and the clan earns AP, you can master weapon you can master abilities without fighting. Am I missing something, or is there a reason he can't be like a thief or something in the second uh, uh, the second mission you run? Um, thieves are generally squishy. I'm just using this as an example. You could, but the option, but like I said, uh, thieves are extremely squishy. They are like the worst when it comes to statting. I think you're missing my point. My point. I know you could, you could do that by the second mission, yes, but there are no good options, without meeting prereqs. But then wouldn't that be the same for literally every movie you get? The the thing is, is Montblanc's magic stat is exceptionally low. Plus, you can have a Moogle that's in a different job, other than Thief or Black Mage. And we just lost Chekhov. What's a Russian funeral like? Do we still do 21 gun salutes? Or do we just down vodka to, for to forget about him? Russian funeral. I believe for a Russian funeral, the dead buries itself. <laughs> no, no, no. The dead buries the mourners. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't the 1960s, so that's probably not going to happen. Frick, I'm tired. I decided to go to bed an hour earlier last night, and my body decided to wake up an hour and a half earlier than it normally does and not let me go back to sleep. Your dog? Your or your roomie? No, my body. Yeah. Uh, I woke up an hour and a half I know, earlier for no reason. I know what the I know how that feels. Okay. I I, I guess I can only revive the bishop since I can't get at check off because I put him in an unfortunate position. Ooh, my. <laughs> that unfortunate position is between two other bodies. 
And the only... Is there... Of the four tiles around him, two are bodies, which means another which means another unit can't occupy those tiles. And then there's an obstacle, and then there's obstacle, which which no unit can occupy still. And then water, which prevents the use of abilities. So what you're saying is he'd be blocked in a wet area with three bodies laying around. He's not in the water. That w that's actually killing them because they're face down. Oh, now you move the body, you stupid judge! <laughs> That's right in front of Sharna. She can save him. Alright, let's see what this thief does. By the way, I've had an enemy level up. He kept stealing experience. That's a thing a thief can do, somehow. Yeah. I remember these thieves fondly because I would always go with a, a group of... I'd always grind lower areas to uh, with a bunch of thieves so I could steal all their shit and then kill them. Yeah, the thing about thieves is, like I said, they're extremely squishy. If you're statting a character, a thief is the worst thing to be. I just like stealing crap. Yeah. But you're gonna wanna but once you have what you want once you have a bill once you have the the stats abilities you want, you're gonna wanna switch to a different class. Or in A2 you can choose not to play as a thief at all and just ma and just keep the unit out of battle until it matches its abilities. Like what I do with Tinkerers. Because goddamn they're too unpredictable. What was Wait. the class that had one ability that only affected enemies that's level ended in five? There are a bunch of enemies like there are a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff like that. I always found that so dumb. The Arcanist is full of those. But yeah, there are a bunch of abilities in that vein of only affecting people of only affecting units whose levels are divisible by a certain thing for example by certain factors such as uh i think there's one that casts dark on all units whose levels are divisible by five was it holy i don't know i don't care All I know is I'm trying to turn uh, Monty into a magic tank. So, four down, two to go. A, th a thief and a bishop. And of course he runs back into the water like the coward he is. Just for- JUST mock him! No. No. I'm gonna- I was gonna whack him with the bishop to mock his inability to do anything in water. But I thought that was a bad idea. It's better to let the it's better to let the inferior protagonist mock him. That is Marsh. Luso is better is a better uh, in protagonist in every way, because he isn't the secret antagonist, and uh, Luso is just cool, whereas Marsh is too is just too generic. Luso is like, and when you, when you start a two, someone described it as. Oh, look! A giant chicken! I'ma touch it! <laughs> oh, God. Luso's whole lack of tact in that entire game is so awesome. He feels a bit more real to me than, um, than Luso does. Sorry, than Marsh does. Marsh feels like every, uh, 
JRPG protagonist ever except less androgynous. But considering he's a child is kind of weird. Well, I just drowned the thief. Way to go, Chekhov! And the peasants rejoice. <laughs> have, have you ever... Do you, do you play pinball at all? Play what? Pinball? Like pinball in general? Um, I've played Rollers of the Realm a few times. But you, would you never play like a, any, any physical pinball machine? No. There's this great pinball machine called uh, Medieval Madness. Uh, and each of the major shots corresponds to something. One of them is, I think it's, yeah, the left ramp does pe is where you can get a peasant revolt. And uh, some of the lines in it are, are hilarious, uh, such as what they took away, such as, They took our pinball machine! <laughs> that, that table is hilarious. You literally cut out at the punchline. Uh, oh, the one during the second shot and sometimes the first shot up the ramp, uh, they'll say what they they'll say what we supposedly took away, such as taking away their pinball machine, also taking away their chickens and their wives and their shoes. Still, one of my favorite ones is um, victory. Uh, sorry, uh, we we I finished the mission. One of my favorite ones is the different dr is the different princesses you can get when uh. <laughs> Judge, you are a fucking idiot. What? So, it turns out Tertemas violate the target all law. And the penalty is having the Mog Knight's magic power stat drop by six. There's only one thing she relies on that stat for, and that's to use the and that's to use Ultima. In other words, the judge basically gave her a slap on the wrist. Well, yeah, they're both knights. Okay, cutscene. How did they know I would be here? Who could have told them? Kazuki? Are you okay, Kupo? Was someone watching me just now? This is gonna be the creeps. Alright, we finished. Alright. Scene's over. Uh, Snape's mastered water. Would you could, could you see Professor Snape as a bishop? I only made that joke because um I made that joke because uh, my bishop's name is Rickman. I don't get it. Uh, Professor Snape was played by an actor named Alan Rickman, and my, uh, bishop's name is Rickman. Oh, okay. By the way, you will be missed. Wait, what? Oh, Alan Rickman's dead. He died, like, a year or two ago. Oh. Uh, I guess learn something new every day. At least, I think it was a year or two ago. It may have been more recent. My sense of time is the worst. I got a soft. I got... Oh, I got jerky! I've actually been looking for this. I needed it to complete a quest. And I got an ice shield. I missed out on the ribbon. I knew I knew it would handle it, Devo, because you're in the business of souls. I think the 
treasure hunting aspect of this game was the thing I hated the most when I played it. I love. I keep rejecting people because I'm afraid of filling up my clan. Because I don't. Because I think there are a bunch more special characters to get. Yeah, that was another thing I didn't like too. Is that uh, if I recall right, the I don't know. I just felt bad whenever I fired. Yep, that's exactly why I felt so bad when someone left. Because it left me crying all the time. Oh, are you talking about the original tactics where if they're like if one of their two stat determining stats got too low, they said I'm out. No, I meant I got sad turning people away because they left crying if you just did it a little while ago with that soldier. <laughs> they kind of tone it down in A2 where they're like, uh, okay. They're, they're just mildly disappointed. Yeah, where in this one, it's like you literally just shattered their dreams. By the way, A2. Don't go for all the special characters. You'll be saddled with one of the worst characters in the game. Do you want to hear who it is and why he sucks? Yes, please. Remember, have you ever you played twelve, right? You played Final Fantasy twelve? No. Oh, there's a character in the game called Al named Al Cid, who is like the leader of the Rosarian Empire, a a kingdom that that fights against uh, the the Arcadian Empire, who are the antagonists in the game. So, A two does recognize the difference between male and female units. However, it is determined by their race. If you're if it's not a Viera or a Gria, it's male. It's idiotic, but it's true. I could send Jang. I'd rather have him around in case I take on another group of monsters, but. Been, being away from home for 10 years, I've started really missing my mama's gra. Oh, I. Gratine. Won't someone make me some Koopo Gratine? By the way, I highly. I think I did, um, when I beat this game the first time, my stat line was probably horrible, but I eventually made Marcus Ninja. I'm planning to make Marsh a Paladin, because that's like the only way I know how to play the protagonist. Plus, Paladin's a pretty dang high defense. I had no idea, when I first played, I was literally completely blind. I didn't know what each... Like, Ninjas are the closest thing to a glass cannon this that. game has. They're extremely squishy. You generally keep at a distance and completely fuck with the enemy. Later on, they're, uh, they, you got, later on the, in A2, the humans get a real glass cannon. The par, the par, the par of you, or however you pronounce it. Some of my latest scoop article. I bet it was those guys at Sprom News. Get them before they reach Sprom. Is this anything like the Bonga Bugle? Am I gonna have to deal with some of the most uh, some of the most incompetent people known to man? I'm going to say yes because you're playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> Are you, have you have you played A2? I have beaten it multiple times. So you know what I you, so then you know what I'm referring to with the Bonga Bugle then, right? Yes. I hate I hate the one I forget which month it was, but you had to you had to protect the owner from himself. You had this level 1 berserker just r trying to rush these level 40 units. I just oh, I refresh that memory. <laughs> I I was like I'm not doing I'm not gonna go for the reward for this I'm just gonna mark the quest as done because of a quirk and how they work. I'm just gonna mark the quest as done and just aim for 250 so I can get hurting on my top screen. Yeah, 
in that quest, wasn't it like as soon as he dropped, he lost as well? Yeah, it was. It was an escort. <laughs> I always hated that because you have like you can sit there with ninety nine season accounts, and if they fall over, they don't give you a turn to bring them up. Well, if you're faster, you can theoretically take out the. You can theoretically take them out before the owner does something stupid. Yeah, that's another thing. I it reminds me that uh, in some uh, JRPGs, for some reason, that if your main character dies, the game's over, even though you can revive your party members. I don't remember which game specific it was, but I remember. This that could be one happened. of them. I think if Marsh dies, the game's over. Whether it be yogged or getting offed by, uh, or getting offed by a phoenix, by a zombified phoenix down. You know, you turn into a zombie and then someone dropped the phoenix down on you just to rub it in. Yeah. Guess I'll send Lenny. Actually, no, I'm gonna wait to send Lenny. I'm gonna give him a new gun real quick. It is so weird, weird talking to you in real time and having to wait for the stream to catch up. <laughs> you can mute the stream if you want. I already have. Yeah, that's what Como does. There will be a day when we will hail the magic conch again. Today is not that day. I should probably sell one. When did I get this? Sh when did I get this? Ooh! It's a mithril weapon, so it's got combos. It's a mithril weapon that have the combos, right? Alright. I will say one thing about the uh, Pathfinder I'm doing, just so you're aware, because this affects you as a player. Guns will be allowed. We will be doing um we will be doing commonplace guns. So you can get the you can get the early guns fairly cheap, but the advanced weapons are gonna cost you a pretty penny. I'm not gonna open them up till after a specific plot quest. Alright then. Now to send the honorable and totally not dead Linny. In, in this case, I mean to the fact that they keep referring to Linny as dead. Even if you bring Linny into a quest. What? So, once you complete the Hero's Gal epilogue, you can you can continue, you start a quest line related to that, which reenacts certain portions of that story. Um... If you go into that quest, if you go into the initial epilogue quest with hero with the hero's gal item equipped, you can recruit Linny, who knows Ultima from the get go. Oh yeah. You can't use it because his MP isn't high enough, but you have it. I totally forgot about those quest items that can give you special stuff if you somehow know. Well, there was a reason I actually needed the jerky for something else. There was a quest that required jerky. I'm not seeing it right now. I'm debating. Should I send out my air? Oh, no. My errand boy is the best suited for this. Can loot crate go? No, not my ninja. I'm not sending out too many mods. So, were you like customizing each of uh, the tactics class to the Pathfinder thing, or are you just using the Pathfinder classes? Uh, we're just using Pathfinder stuff. I'm gonna be using. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna try to make favor the favorite classes um, work similarly to the jobs that those that those races can hold, but um, 
I'm more I'm trying I'm except for the races I'm sticking pretty close to the SRD. Okie dokie. Um even even the enemies are being pulled from the SRD. All the changes I make are purely cosmetic. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll call them something different in this what I mean by that is I'm going to call them and describe them different. I'm going to call them something different and describe them differently. But under the hood, it's a basic enemy from the Beachiary. Okie dokie. Well, no one seems to favor this except for. I want to. Say, I, I, Shivat's on the tip of my tongue, but that's my other Pathfinder character. That's my Pathfinder camp character in a different campaign, so. I, it's Sharna. Sharna wants to do this, and I'll. I didn't want to dispatch two mogs, but I guess I have to. This is much harder and slower than it is in A2. Where once you do enough auctions, you can just dump the clan points you're not using from not doing clan trials and just easily win every auction. Especially the Galg auction. You could, the Galg auction gets broken. Shit. The Galg auction gets broken when you buy when you buy tokens. No deal. <laughs> deal or no deal. <laughs> I just imagine you this theme holding this red button and lifting the lid. <laughs> you, let me go for two. I'll let you go for. You can let me go for two thousand gil. Deal or no deal? <laughs> and then I turn with the cloud yelling, no deal. <laughs> Wait, I have a mic now. I can actually stream crap. Ooh, I would love to see one of those. What do you stream on? Uh, I don't have. I have to set something up to stream, but uh, I'm using. Yeah. As you can, as you can clearly see, I'm using Twitch. Yeah, I might use Twitch. I don't know. If you're streaming from an Xbox, the onboard thing is Mixer, but you can get a Twitch app and you can stream from Twitch. I'm solely a PC player. All right then. Never mind then. Um, for streaming programs, I'm using OBS. It's free and it works very well. A lot of people use OBS. Alright, I don't have to worry about any of this shit. But my elementalist is going to come along. Alright, who do I have still with me? I still have Monty. Chekhov. Where the hell is Realia? What knights? No hands with fate. <laughs> Sorry. Every time I hear that, I can't help but think of Manos, the hands of fate. Yeah. I was actually going to play it before you pulled me into the stream. Well, I was actually looking to get either Riki or Como in here, since they're my regulars. Oh. You came in on your. Although I do have an open invite, I I most I the people I particular I specifically asked to come are Como and Bri and Riki. I mean, it's fine that you're here. But you could have chosen not to be. You have a very poor choice of words when it comes to talking to people sometimes. I um, I am aware of this. It is something I am working on. You. Uh, what weapon are you holding? I think you... Alright, yeah. You're learning something. Good. I'm trying to remember which one was gonna be this, was gonna be my assassin. Because I know assassins are super exploitable in this game. With the right set of abilities, you can make Last Breath hit very often. Neat. 
Take me my money. You would have spared your lives, fools. Just give back the article, Koopo. I also closed the lid on that button. That clearly means no deal. Maybe he just has a beat in the button a few times. I made my guys face the wrong way! How are you doing that? How are you doing 56 damage? You're a thief going up against a dragoon! Oh, because you're much higher level. Still, how? That is the button plate. Your 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 whole class is squishy. You're secretly a fighter, aren't you? Nighthawk? Are we summoning Robin? Well, too bad. Also, Mom, I hate this. So there there aren't um what the hell oh you've got your own version of chocobo rush glad they nerfed that knee too no cool it's crap that's all arranged no it's it's chocobo rush range which is uh sky's the limit Ooh, I can- I have a super screw you. I can immobilize. This is probably not gonna end well. I didn't take the time to properly think out the levels of my units. Maybe if I rush the thief, it'll end earlier. I mean, he's literally right there. There's no excuse not to. Okay, I have an idea what I'm going to do with this guy. I'm going to move back a couple tiles, and since jump isn't nerfed in this game... Well, it was isn't sort of nerfed in this game. I'm gonna use it to attack from three tiles. Boop. That also keeps him from using counter, which is the key thing I was trying to avoid. They, th I don't want to say nerfed because it's a mixed blessing. They modified jump to be another double damage half accuracy ability, but they did nerf the distance to three tiles. I never really used Banga that much, so I wouldn't know. What did you use a lot? Human and Moo Moo. I used a lot of Moogles. Obvi. Hmm. I don't know. I just, I, it's weird because I like them a lot, but um, I always found the Moogles a little odd class-wise. I didn't really know. What they're they're mostly in support positions. I mean, I took Blanc, uh, Mont Blanc with me every chance I got, and I actually did have him as a Black Mage. So Mont Blanc in A two is a little bit more kick-ass. I specifically hunted down, um, I specifically hunted down a bunch, I specifically ran through most of the tournament circuit specifically for him. It's a very, it was a very specific task, I might add. Huh. Nice swing. Next time, try hitting him.
Can you hit anything? That seemed unnecessary. I don't know what you were planning to gain from that move. I mean, sure, you, you killed the white mage, but you could have just attacked him. You were forgetting that style is important in these sort of things. She, she didn't need to use an ability. Is my point. Actually, can I kill this thief? I'll do it. Because what I'm hoping is that this thief goes down my mistake. I don't have to deal with my mistake. Kuso is too smart for you. Which in the context of this game is actually kind of sad. Because Banga aren't supposed to be smart in this game. Then the C came around. And they became the dumb ones. <laughs> now I just... I now just got a... Kuso in my head going... Smarter than the average manga. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't H2 also bring in an Valkyrie race? The Gria, yeah. Oh man, it would have been our scoop. Okay, the battle's not over. We're all dead meat. We're still dead meat. I'm gonna start blasting Totemo now. This is more or less last ditch at this point. I was saving these Totemo for Yogged, but... I saw Como typing. Did Como ever put anything up? I'm kind of disappointed I don't get to see Bamfrit in 12 till like the very end. 3 kills. Chekhov is Russian king. He is the Tsar. He's better than Putin. I'm probably going to need witness protection now. Okay, um... Oh, you're here! Hello. Hey, Carla, did you see who else is in here? Yeah, it's, uh, Magana's ult. Yep. Well, Magana in general is in a voice chat, which in and of itself is a moment to celebrate. Yeah. That's thrice in a row! That's thrice in a row! Do you want to get kicked out of this clan? What am I paying you for? You don't pay me nothing. <laughs> Maybe you stop using her to attack people when they're facing her. She attacked from the side and still missed! Ch 
Chill, bro. Chill. Oh, no, no, no. At least she's not that bishop from earlier. Uh, I had this... We were taking on this... I had this bishop who used arrow on three targets to miss all three. That's sad. <laughs> Over the odds, zero percent, zero percent, and twenty-five percent. I think there were two in the floor. Two of them were facing him, but one was to the side. He should have hit that one at the very least. So you're trying to tell math to do what you feel is right rather than what is logically correct. I'm saying that uh, it sucks to be that bishop with his luck. Look, seventy percent. She'll probably miss again. Oh, thank the heavens above! <laughs> dude, 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 calm down. <laughs> oh, come on, this is a joystick. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> He's immobilized. Check off. <laughs> That's what came to mind when he said. Yeah, Mr. Krabs, I'm just like, that's gay. One damage? Eh. You're immobilized. <laughs> He's immobilized, he deserves it. I need... I should get Monty to learn Mog Aid. Actually, you know what? I think Nume's I think Nume's done with this battle. I think he's done, like super done. And you know what that means? It's time for Betty Bye. Uh oh, sounds like someone's in trouble. Yeah. Gotta get a pair of glasses. All right. New May is done with this battle, so he's deciding to take a bit of a snooze. I mean, you know, I had a, I specifically so, so for me, I've started to role play in the game because there was no tactical reason for him to be hibernating other than I kind of just want him to sleep now. When you said that, all I could think of was uh, Iron Man in the Hulk Buster punching the Hulk repeatedly with that. <laughs> that piston or jackhammer punch maneuver, he's like, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> you need to learn to get your own scoops, Koopo. I know a Siku is terrible at journalism, too. Don't worry, you're not alone in this, Koopo. I think you know that, that needs that wah, wah, wah <laughs> trombone thing. Nine thousand gil. We got God Hand. Woo! That's exactly. Did you say nine thousand? Yeah. It's exactly it's... nine thousand. Damn it! <laughs> you stole my thunder on that one. Oh no! Game over. <laughs> See, you know a thing or two about Scarfaces, Realia. Realia Master to catch. I want that anti-law! I'm gonna hoard all of these general anti-laws. You're gonna hoard out all the anti-laws? Hoard Dude. all of these general anti-laws. I know I'm screwing with you. <laughs> Come on. I got a snake shield. 
It's got a huge eye on it. That totally won't make you a target. Someone looks at the snake shield and they are petrified. Or they think you're a Zelda boss. So I was actually going to talk to you about, now that you're here, I was going to talk to you a bit more about the campaign. About the Viera. Um, how would I, I, how, what kind of skills could I give them that are more naturalistic? Um, I, again, Ranger and Druid uh, classes for Pathfinder would be a rough reference point. But if I were... Do I have the smile toss weapon? I doubt it. If Sorry, I go pick, on. If, if I were to pick uh, specifics, you know, specific things, um, I'm uh, I'm debating between it being either a racial bonus or using skill focus for both survival and handle Adam. Hmm. Okay. So now the thing that I the oh, thing is you said that you said that they're that the only way their language could be secret is to set them to uh, to set their linguist level to the xenophobic. It, it would make the most sense when you think about it in context. Here's can I have my two cents on the idea? There it is, uh, the orcalium. Pronounced oracalson. It's pronounced oracalson. I okay. think. Um. So you're saying? I was thinking, if we use twelve's lore, most Vieira are xenophobic. Only a small percentage become wayfarers, and they're generally shunned for it. They would still have to deal with xenophobic tendencies. What xenophobia means is that their starting languages, the one that they automatically get, the ones that they are able to get, are limited. That doesn't limit what they can get through training themselves through the linguistics. I know, I know. But I want the VR language to technically be secret. And again, that would best be portrayed using the xenophobic and having some little blurb about them being reclusive and their language generally being their own. It, it just, it really fits from the Pathfinder standpoint, the way they portray the languages. But that means I can't give them common as a language, right? Um, it could be one of the bonus languages if their intelligence is sufficiently high enough. Okay, I thought, I thought xenophobic meant they couldn't learn any other language other than their racial language. They automatically start off with their racial language, and then they can learn up to a selection of four bonus languages if their intelligence is sufficiently high enough. If you'd bothered to read the Creating New Races page, you would know that. I did read it. I just misremembered. Give me a hard time, my dude. Oh, by the way, I found something I've been looking for for a while. What? Jerky. Hmm. Yum. <laughs> I needed this because there's one other quest that requires jerky. Jerky's just good to have in general. It's delicious. <laughs> yes. Nubay! What are you doing with that jerky? Put it down now! Nume, I see what you're doing! No! No! Bad pain! Bad! Should we be concerned? Yes! Very concerned! For Nume's sake! Oh. I was wondering what Cory would have said, actually. About you. <laughs> Corey is not here right now. Please leave a message after the tone. Beep.
Yay. I got Mysidia alloy. Yay. Uh, Maybe I should paint it like it's... jerky. Give it to uh, Nume and see if he bites it. No. Riki would love to be here right now. <laughs> We're just talking yeah, so much he's... shit about Nume. Yeah, but he seems to be in a perpetual sort of away from keyboard, sort of not. Yeah. Where has this quest been all my life? Want some delicious jerky? Come help out at my store. We have to make 5,000 sticks of jerky this year. Many of our children have never seen the stars due to miscovering our land most of the year. Can you help us? Mm. I can't send errand boy. Lol. I'm gonna wait to do some of these dispatch quests. Only because they require people I want to hang on to. Oh yeah, I got to kick that guy out. Give me a second. So, I was recently invited to a new Discord server. Which one was it? And is it something we can... And, and is it NSFW? Um, to my understanding, it's SFW. And it's not on that website of which we do not speak of. Like, it's Discord exclusive. <laughs> I think the white mage just fired, just said, I think I'm gonna need some quiet reflection time. I think I hear him bawling in the corner. Anyways, I recently got invited to the room lands that they, they're in. And it was the server own or the owner of this particular Discord server that invited me. Was he in was he in um Kreserox? No. Nope. How'd he find you? Uh, we had a couple of couple of casual role plays actually on the uh, website of which we do not speak of, but person was getting tired of that website so like hey i've made this discord why don't, why don't you come and join it hold on i i generally i'm generally not compatible with elites so i don't run into them very often but i've heard a lot of horror stories about elites on the site of which shall not be named hang on i'm not i eh, my mic's down a little the what? The elites? The jerks? Oh, uh, no, it's actually quite the opposite, mostly. Like, that's mostly what's there on that website. A bunch of, um, well, inexperienced. Sure you know what... hmm? Inexperienced? No, they're thinking with the wrong brain. Let's leave it at that. I tend to do that too, but I. I've grown out of it. There's been an outbreak in a plan near a logging site. They eat all, they'll eat all the trees and will be out of a job. Help. P.S. I'm not a cross-dresser. Don't let my... That, that song is a lie. I feel like I zoned out in the midst of context or something. He was a lumberjack. Oh. Now what did I just... I think I'm signed up for two battles. Okay, that can stick around until Jane comes back. We can deal with the plans now. Give me a heretic rod. Should I have a Kirim? Actually, no. Let's free this area first. Oh, screw you, Rhoda!
I somehow managed to beat a bunch of level 20s with level 15s. That was the battle you saw of me yelling at the uh, elementalist. Mm, there's a good chance I. Uh, that was I the one that. where I yelled that they got in heavens when she finally hit. Uh oh. Okay. Half of that party was like level 15. All right, so this looks like it's a grinding. Looks like I could use this to grind. I'll take. Emmet. I'll take... Oh, I have Jang. I'll take DeVoe. Take Udvil as my healer. And I'll take, uh, Woolworth, the Diet Dragoon. Not a mog in sight. This is truly a sad day. You can you can choose this. You can choose not to watch. I know it's gonna be boring. I haven't been. Honestly, Maybe Corey or some other schmuck is watching. Honestly, when I try to watch your stream and do the Discord thing. It, it's causing shitty connections. Oh shit, I didn't check the law. Oh! I may have made a grave mistake. Color magic Sucks. is banned. You're not... Do I... What, what level is that? It's R5! Ah! Can undo the Night Sword ban. I do not have an R5 card. Ah! I guess you'll just be. I guess. I guess my mages will just be bitch slapping then. 100? You did 100 damage to one of those flans. I'm not even doing flans. The predicted damage on the attack was 100, but he just missed. Shit. I'm gonna use the Totemo, because really, what good is Ultima in this situation? Plus, it'll give him some experience so that the battle isn't a total loss. I predict a reversal of fortune. Oh, we're playing Mario Party 4? I love that game! What? Oh, there's, um... There's a space in Mario Party 4 called the Fortune Space, which starts a reversal of fortune minigame. You basically play little, the little, uh, little versions of those plastic pinball games. Okay. And then, um, people will, tr and then you'll have two players trade coins or stars. You'll have two players give or trade coins and or stars to each other. And that can really change things, but nah, I wouldn't. Fuck, I, I. You know, I think the absolute newest game I've ever played of Mario Party was the classic Mario Party. Like, I've never played any of the newer ones. Oh, when they were still being developed by Hudson? You know, the good ones? Uh, yeah, sure, let's just go on that. The formula changed when Hudson was bought by Konami. They had to get a new dev who was like, screw this turn-based 
screw this turn-based bullshit. We're gonna have everyone play at the same time. That sounds like utter chaos. Well, what they wanted to do is they didn't want to have Mario Party. When they got the new devs, they said that they that they were tired of Mario Party being a passive experience. Hence the change in the style. Then you get shit like Island Tour, which is like we'll go we'll do turn based shit anyway. <laughs> I think my little brother has that game, honestly. The three D S the first three D S one? Yep. Island Tour is fun, it just could use it with hundred percent fewer lock based minigames. <laughs> there are Two or three mini games based entirely on lock, at least. I'm not kidding. There's no skill. Pull a lever and pray to RNG. Yep. Or it's more like pick a space and pray to RNG. Also, nice job attacking the uh, Diet Dragoon that has Bone Crusher. The, yeah, Diet Dragoon. I'm not going to call it what it is, because it's, it's lame. Lancer? No, it's Paladin. It's not uh... Paladin. Uh, Templar. Templar, yeah. It's called a Templar. But I only recognize one spear-wielding job. And that's the dragoon. Yeah. Look, on the bright side, all of this major bitch slapping means that they're ex that coming in here for experience isn't a total waste. <laughs> oh no, don't, don't, don't hurt him! Don't hurt him! He hasn't done anything wrong yet! <laughs> Dang it, I can't get a good angle. These enemies without harm- at Without, um, I can only attack this one Super Mount Burrow. I don't know what it's called. And even, and even then I can't get a good angle on it. It's still hit, which is good. Dude, I don't fight any Marlboros a pain in the butt. I know. Hold on a minute, you can use items, because you've got nothing better to do with your life. Um, why don't you go run like a bitch, and then, um, spend the next two turns healing yourself. Begin with eye drops, and then on the next turn, drop a potion. Because at least holy isn't banned. I just can't help but think, and yeah, I watch the monster turn around and go and try to attack that little, that retreaty little bitch. The monsters have AI like a Pac-Man goes. They're like, never U-turn. No, one of my favorite things to do with the AI in A2, I, I told you this, right, about the ranger? Nope. Um, one of my favorite things to do about the brain-dead AI in A2 is to, um... Use a ranger, place a trap, and then and then have him face away from the trap, so that when the enemy comes in for the back attack, they just walk right into it. And it works, like, almost every time. <laughs> do, 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 do. Setting a trap, don't divide me. Okay, I'm turning around now. <laughs> 
tap. Totally into the trap on the tile behind me. Ah! Oh, you got stem needled, bitch. <laughs> so, just giant spikes come out of the ground. Oh. I'm surprised anything survives those. Not just a non-lethal KO, but like... How are you not crippled? In the rain, just standing there, just uh, evilly adjusts glasses. Just <laughs> wearing glasses. Because why the fuck not? <laughs> And he just, he, he just has a subtle little laugh, like, <laughs> works every time. <laughs> Is he Palpatine now? Works every time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I actually watched episode one earlier today. I said that little skit, I could just see someone animating it on YouTube. Well, maybe someone could, if I were a big-time YouTuber and not just some guy sitting in his living room. Uh, Game Grumps are two guys that sit in the living room playing video games. Yeah, they but they also have professional equipment. Maybe so, but they still get their shit animated by fans, and it's just like, eh. Yeah. Remind like, me when I have one million subscribers. Like seriously, uh, oh, what's, what was that guy's name? Something. Tithian? No, 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 it was, they were playing, a one of the Dark Souls games, they were about to go up against the final boss, and then this one guy that generally trolls them shows up, uh, something. Or Brian. Nah, the alias was like something anus, I, I can't remember it. But then, but on, on this final time, right. nonetheless, this guy ends up turning around and helping to fight the boss. Look, but he was a little late on his entry, though. That was the thing. Like, he, he was late entering the party, but when he did show up, it was like, oh my god, this guy hit like a fucking truck. Was this online? It, um... Were they like playing a game online? One of the Dark Souls games, you could summon other heroes from their quote unquote parallel worlds to help you in a fight. And again, the guy. This is the saddest fight I've ever seen. Just be sorry, I just I just came out that uh. The fact that these mages are getting away with all this bitch slapping is sad. <laughs> <laughs> no one in the right mind would fight like this, yet I found a way to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> you just like that term, don't you? <laughs> That's what it is, though. It doesn't do a lot of damage. You just, it just. It, it's more of an insult. Unless you're, <laughs> unless you're that guy in A2 who approached my white mage with 4 HP and then he bitch slapped you into extinction. <laughs> this happened. <laughs> he walks into my white mage with like 4 HP, does a direct attack, and then I have my white mage attack back and KO him. No magic, just a basic attack, and I'm lagging like heck again. On both ends. On both OBS and on VBA. There we go. I was afraid it, I, I was afraid it, my computer was about to crash again. Oof, my system crashed. I lost my data. But I had an antivirus. Did I ever spread that in the server? The protogen meme? So not. Oh, I'm gonna start when this stream is over. Your the the meme channel's gonna get spammed. Like I did with Disney World. <laughs> like you did with Disney World. <laughs> uh, we got like 15 minutes. Do you want to get back to the talking about the fat the lore of the Pathfinder game? 
Yeah, yeah, we did get off topic there. But, uh, that, that's what makes these streams enjoyable. All right. So, again, if you're going with the 10RP with Viera and you're really wanting to, to stress the nature aspect, there's... There's three class skills that I can think of that if you put can racial I... bonuses into them or and or set them up as skill focus feats, it would push towards it. You know, maybe it should be like two of them are... Hmm. Hmm. Lenny, I knew you could do it. Survival, jerk, and handle animal. Drop those. Those three class skills are the kid essential, I am of nature class skills. Alright, sure enough. I couldn't send, uh, I couldn't send my Aaron Void Nume early. I'm thinking about it just having it be a racial bonus to those three skills. I mean, that'll... That will completely gridlock all the, uh, the skills section of building a uh, race with 10 RP, but not to mention it will eat up 6 RP right off the bat. But then again, the arrow don't have much else besides uh, solid dexterity. And a high base speed. Yeah, the solid dexterity can be, can be achieved. Without any additional race points. I think there's a way to boost base land speed, but don't quote me on that one. There wasn't. To be honest, I didn't see anything like that. I could just see I could set it to normal or slow. I can't give them a bonus to an I can't give them a bonus to uh um, what's it called? Initiative. I can't give a I can't give a race bonus to initiative, right? I'm pulling up, I saved a PDF copy of creating new races, so I'm just going to pull it up as a PDF and say fuck it all. Um, and then lore. I wanted to work on the build the world. I would need someone, I'll, I would need someone who is better with a mouse or can actually draw um, to work on a map with me. of it, you're, you're frankly on your own. Well, at the very least, I need to know what's in this Ivalice. I know I'm going to use all the major locations, but I would like to have a bit of artistic license. As it is, I'm already making Yaog the capital. What race did you have the Viera set to? Humanoid? Yeah, I would... Their magic ability isn't that great. So there's no reason to go full monstrous humanoid. I was thinking maybe Fae. What... Remind me what Fae is? <coughs> I thought Fae were spirits. Like fairies. Well, Fairies are one, but they're not spirit in nature. They're, they're physical beings. All right. A fae is a creature with supernatural abilities and connections to nature or to some other force or place. Now, ignoring the supernatural abilities just for a minute, the fact that they have connections to nature, well, actually, Vier are said to have a sort of supernatural ability. They can speak to plants. They are, they are, they are literally connected to nature. It's pretty much their way of life. Okay, so Fey would actually fit them to a T. All right, how which, much RP is which, that? Two. All right then, serve it up. But you gotta admit it, not bad. Not at all. The thing is, Viera would definitely be medium. The human size. Yeah, which is medium. The only thing that makes them bigger than humans are their ears. Actually, I think wasn't 
Fran like a head or half a head taller than Balthier? I thought they were the same height. I was thinking, I'm thinking from the tops of their heads, by the way. I thought Fran was a bit taller. And I am referring to from the tops of their heads, because Fran is definitely taller if you count the ears. Like, a head taller. And by a head, I do literally mean a head. I'm gonna bring Jang along for RP purposes. I'm thinking of balancing Faye out with either... Uh, fully balancing with either mixed weakness or partially with weakness. I would say mixed weakness. Yeah, that's a perfect balance there, then. Um, we give the bonuses in dex and charisma. Mixed weakness gains plus two, uh, and, okay. Plus, plus two to dex and charisma, minus two to blank and minus four to other blank. The minus minus two four to, I would say, constitution. VR minus four has to... Uh, Minus four has to be in the mental ability scores. Oh, I thought I thought I thought it had to be minus four on one end and minus two on the other. Oh wait, you're right. So it could be minus four strength. I was saying constitution because we are generally are in squishy jobs. Uh, fair enough. They're mostly in magical and support jobs. They're fairly squishy. Most of their jobs rely on speed. And because of their xenophobic nature, the minus two would go into charisma, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, I was thinking only the, the charisma bonus would come from their, from the feeling of them being exotic. Oh, I misheard where the, one of the bonuses went. Um, I would, I'm, I want to say intelligence, but that prevents, that makes it harder for them to learn common. And the thing about wisdom. I guess you could drop it in Wisdom. Wisdom tends to be a dumb stat for a lot of builds, I'm not gonna lie. It's dumb being like it doesn't matter? A, a dumb stat, yeah, because it generally doesn't matter for a lot of races, like, or classes, excuse me. The only class that really relies on two, excuse me, the only two that really relies on Wisdom would be Monk and Cleric. Okay, I just want to say this so I can progress the game. This better mean we're near our destination, Koopo. Sharna is clearly getting impatient. She is literally asking, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? No. Are we are there yet, yet Koopo? No. no. Go sit with Nume. <laughs> Nume? What do you have in your hand there? Oh my fucking god, you have the jerky, don't you? YOU HAVE THE GIVE ME THAT! Morgana! <sighs> ah. Ah. Huh? What? Ah. Uh, should we be worried about Kaz again? Yes, yes very. I suggest a straight jacket. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I- I need- I'm probably gonna pass out soon, so if I go quiet forever, just that's why. Alright, I'll kick you. I'll kick you in the palm, then I'll kick you out of the channel. That's <laughs> me. What? Nothing, your hair looks nice. <laughs> There's a nice sheen to that fur. That nice corgi fur. Alright, let's see. I have you. And I have you. I, you're really just here for RP purposes. Because this seems like it'd be fun for you. Alright. I don't know how many judge points you need, but you have a judge point. All right, so I told you the basic story idea I had. You saw that basic story idea, right? Um, 
just to tell me again, just to be safe. All right. So this version of Ivalice was ruled over has has been ruled over this the kind of benevolent uh, good King Mogamog for about 120 years. Good King Mogamog the Fourteenth. When he died, when he died, he had no known heirs. So there was a power vacuum, a power vacuum that was filled with by a greedy Seek, who began to let corporations rule with an iron fist. Corporations being a relative term. Yeah. You let money talk more, and the business and. Not only was the government very strict, it was it, it also became extremely corrupt. So our band of heroes encounter well, our band of heroes encounters the true heir drowning in two feet of water. They know he's the heir because of the ring on his finger, which was passed down in the Mogomog family. It turns out that Dio, this Mughal, was a, um, was good King Mogamont the 16th. We don't talk about the 15th. I get the feeling if I try to ask why I get yelled at, so I'm not going to ask. He did something stupid and he, di and he died shortly after Dio was born, okay? I got yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably have Sharna go cover the archer. The, the hunter. Jang is realizing he probably shouldn't be here right now. Sweet shot, Jang. All right, three minutes. Um, so essentially, they have to take this coward, pessimistic um, grandson of the old king to the capital so that he can reclaim the throne. I chose the name Dio because I couldn't think of the Spanish I couldn't think of the Spanish word for king. And once I name once I get something a temporary name, I get attached to it. To the temporary name. So, that's essentially the story I'm running with. Do you like the story? Hate it? Do you wish wish the story would go burn in the trash? It seems pretty straightforward. A, a little bit cookie cutter, but honestly, it's nice to fall back on something that's pretty standard. It, it doesn't require a whole lot of explanation. Maybe a couple of specific names. I mean, again, it's... It's, it's, it's cookie cutter with... Other cookie cutter elements thrown in. As long as it's a good cookie, I don't see a problem with it. <laughs> Alright, um. Should we tune in next week for the thrilling conclusion? Assuming this. Oh dang it, the cliffhanger was gonna be Jang. Was, is Jang going to survive the next turn? But apparently that's not gonna happen. Rip. Oh no, he lived. Will Jang survive the next turn? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z Kai. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and Sharon has got a big gash in her back. No big deal. She deals with this on a daily basis. Not yet, not yet. I'm waiting for a chance to save. Ooh, Monty just barely didn't make it. Oh. 
All right. Tune in next week for the next for for another exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z Kai. No, don't, don't, just please don't. Same bat time, same bat channel. Except not really, because I stream whenever the hell I want to. 